Welcome back, Random TV Reviews, your girl Lynette. And it's your boy, Stanley. All right, y'all ain't seen y'all boy in about a week or so. Uh, yeah. So, um, I'm back. He back. If y'all caught us on Sunday, I had my girlfriend, Nicole, over here do a show with me. So if y'all want to know why I said that, that's why I said that. But we're going to get right into this because, baby, <laughs> I, I had no idea. That this, this was, was gonna, gonna spin all the way down to our land being taken from us, really? Really? Over some old Apple computers? <sighs> Tandis. But anyway, let's get into it. Queen Sugar season six, episode seven. They will bloom and welcome you. Listen. So we start the scene off, right, where we see Dollar and Ralph Angel standing in front of a building. For me, I was like, okay, they playing with us. Like, they tricking us out. Maybe Dollar is about to go into labor and they're going into the hospital or something like that. No, no ma'am. No, sir. They are going into the police station. Ralph Angel said, Char Charlie is on the way and her <laughs> lawyer is going to be right behind. I said, Charlie can't get a break she from fooling with y'all fool -a -la and foolishness, yep. as Funky Dimeva would say. So, Charlie eventually gets to the precinct and she's sitting there talking to Dollar and was like, why in the world would y'all come up here and pretty much surrender yourself. Like, why would he do that? So Dollar was not, he did not go to do that. He came to answer some questions. The police been peeping around, sniffing around, and they even went to the real spot. So he wanted to come up here and to pretty much clear his name. He pretty much went up there and got arrested. Pretty much. <laughs> so Charlie calls Nova I think it was Nova. No. And said, you need to get the family together. I got some skit down here that I don't need to be dealing with alone. So. And I felt like so, so sorry for Nova in that moment. Yeah, because she, could, she was going, you know, she was going through it from what happened last week with okay. them got them police officers. Fuck Nova. <laughs> we still ain't forgave her from that book. Right. So I can't let y'all see, but fuck Nova. But, so, but the point that I want to make with the Nova is. Such is life, man. It's like when you going through something, everybody else gonna stop. That's right. And then sometimes it's when you going through the most. Sometimes when people call on you, uh -huh. and then you have to put your stuff to the side and deal with they stuff. and deal with they stuff, man. Absolutely. If, if you can, if you can identify with that, just gonna smash that like button right there, man. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> just like that. Yeah. So by this time, we have Noah. What had happened was. Because, you know, Mr. Prosper is part of the Border Loans as well. So Hollywood decided to call over there at Prosper House to let him know, listen, Mr. Prosper, we got something going on around here. I ain't want you head out in these streets, out there at the Social Security office, none of that. I want you to hear from me. That boy, Ralph Angel, got himself mm -hmm. into some a uh, heap of skit. But I love how Prosper handled this situation. Yeah. Because Prosper and Billy were having a conversation, and he was pretty much... Piggybacking off of her leaving out and him saying that he really had no idea that things were the way that they really were. So while Or he, did he? We're gonna get to that. Yeah. <laughs> so while he's talking to her about that, Billy is so used to when the border loans call, <clears throat> she has to shrink, shrink down, down and become mm -hmm. invisible. And he deals with her when he done dealing with them. But this time, Mr. Prosper, thank yeah. you. He told me, um, Hollywood, he said, you know what? I got something real important going on over, over here. here. So you call give me a call when it's over with. And, and give me a briefing on what, <laughs> what happened to the boy. Because I know he done been in some skit. And I want to hear about it. It's just not the right time to do it right now. I said, thank you, Mr. Prosper. Yeah. So. And Billy lit up like a Christmas tree. She too, boy. did. She as, as she should have. Right. So. We got Ralph Angel. He comes on up out the door, right? So I was like, did they just let him go? Well, no. Charlie, of course, post bail for him and whatnot. So he pretty much told Charlie, like, they ain't got nothing. You know, I made I, sure I, of I it. I cut the cameras off. I cut off. the cameras off. I said, but first of all, why are you talking like that at in, the, in the police station? station? Like, you admitting to what you did yeah. in the police station. Say, so you incriminating yourself, bruh. Come on now. <laughs> so Charlie was like, well, I called the family to meet us down here, but now that you're on the outside of the, of the um, jail cell, 
I think we just need to go ahead and meet over at my house. So get the family over there at Charlie's house and they having a round table. When I oh. tell you <laughs> who ooh ooh ooh, ooh we yeah. So they lit into him. And pretty much Ralph For Adrian, the hundredth time. This was one of those times where I felt like at any given moment, somebody was just going to swing off on him. Just going to smack the skit right just out of him. Just going to swing off on him. And I really wanted it to be Hollywood because I didn't want no female to be in this position. I wanted I, Hollywood. A couple to times, I actually, I actually, a couple of times, I thought that Hollywood wanted to give him a two-piece bag. So Ralph Angel goes on his long story about him struggling. Long excuses. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. About how he didn't have money, payday mm -hmm. loans that he couldn't figure out how to pay back. Right. This, that, and the third, how his harvest had got poisoned and da-da-da-da-da. So mm -hmm. Hollywood said, so you mm -hmm. result to stealing, stealing from these people yeah. because you don't have money to pay for the things that you need to pay for. Right. And he was like, no, I'm getting even. I got my stuff back from the Landry's just like they've been getting stuff from us. So how was like, what are right. you it talking is, about? Yeah, it don't work that way, bro. So he was like, they poisoned my crop. <clears throat> I had it tested. The numbers are off the charts. I know that they did it. So Charlie's ears peeped up. was like, oh, what you mean? Yeah. Like, can you prove this? Because we got something here if you can prove it. Well, I been told him to get the ring doorbell or something around there yeah. on that farm. You too sure much, did. <laughs> too much stuff happens around that farm for y'all not to have some kind of digital footprint about what goes on around that. Even if you just catch some deals going back and forth, catch something. Get some kind of surveillance around there. <sighs> so, of course, he was like, you know him. I can't exactly prove it, y'all. But I hey, knows they did it. Hey, but you know what? At the same time, Ralph Angel was making all kinds of excuses. I get it. I get we it. we know how the system is against us. But we need not to give the system the ammunition to shoot us with. That's what Ralph did, man. He did it. So I don't care what you say. Like when he started saying all that bullshit that was true mm -hmm. about what's happening, and Charlie said, but unfortunately, the system don't see it that way. Especially not with y'all that. Real fast. So, Ralph Angel and Aunt Vi ended up getting into it because she, she threw her two cents in there as well and she was exactly right about it. But at the end of the day, she was like, I got this from here. Sam Landry owes me a favor. I want to know what that is. When are we going to get to this? Like, what ha what is going uh, yeah. on Yeah, because she keeps saying it, yeah. And Sam Landry. Because the last time, he laid down. He did lay down. Yeah, he laid down. So I was like, this time, okay, we're going to be able to get Ralph Angel out of this. Von Vi going get to get Ralph Angel out of this, man. She said she going to get the charges dropped, but she said she was going over there to Sam Landry's alone. Hollywood said, said that. like, hell said you hell ain't. Nah, <laughs> said, said we done been around this road right here with, uh -huh. with Celine. And you see how that went. So you ain't fit to go over there Sam Landry by yourself. Real facts. So... Ralph Angel and Aunt Vi, they said there, I love you. No matter what happens, I got you. I love you. And I don't look at you no different. I do. But anyway. So, That's family, though. Anyway. That's what family is. <laughs> yeah. So let's spin back around over there to Prosper and Bellis. Because I need a break from Ralph Angel right now. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah. <laughs> so Prosper and, um, and Billy over at the <clears throat> house. And I really got confused. I'm 43, it happens. Yeah, but at I the was, same time... Yeah, hey, I I'm did, 42, and I was confused. Like, I said, like that's a big... Like, that's like a big, it's a big difference. <laughs> so, long story short, <laughs> Prosper kept asking Billy, why didn't you, you come, come and tell, tell me? me? Because I didn't know. And she said, Daddy, as much as it was rumored around that was here, talking, yeah, I knew that you knew about it, and I was that dirty little secret that you just wanted it to go away, like you didn't want to deal with it. So I told my mama about it, but mama told me it was mm. my fault, pretty much that you dressed the part. Mm -hmm. So don't be surprised when things happen to you. I said, "Oh my God, not that." Yeah, that's such a weak argument. It sure is. It's so weak. So. 
Prosper was like, you know, your mama was from a different time. No, no, no. no, no, no Call no. a spade, spade a spade. Yeah. I'm so sick of people taking up for other people's dysfunction instead of calling it what it is. Right. Your mama was on that BS. Yes. I'm sorry that her thinking was even like that, but she was flat out dead hey wrong. Yep. So She was supposed to protect her. Yeah. So then Prosper had to admit, I heard about it, but I didn't want to believe it. Mm-hmm. Because I I know this man. He and was my I, best friend. And then I hear about this thing with you. Mm -hmm. So it was easier for me to believe him than, than to, to defend than you. you. I said, yeah. what? And I, and I knew exactly what he meant. Because like if it really sank in, he probably would have killed what you call it. As he should have. Yeah. But so, however... He still was wrong, though. Very wrong. For not even... He had, he at least should have went to, um, what you call it, Jimmy Dale, and asked him, man to man. My right. daughter is saying that you inappropriately touched her. Or and was, tried uh, to. Tried to touch her. Is that true? Is man to true? man. Right. Man to man. So at least he knows that your it, daddy will check me. Right. In which, in which we already know that he was going to deny it. Anyway. Always do. And if he say we're going to not, okay, you say that, okay, now we're going to the police and we're going to get the police to look into this. Yeah. But so that didn't happen. Mr. Prosper had to admit that from that point on, that's when you left here, you just never came, came back. back. Mm -hmm. And he knew exactly what it was. Here's the thing. I'm going to say this until I'm blue in the face and I'm going to say this until I'm ten toes down. Why is it that these people... And I, when I say these people, I mean older people. They don't make things right until it's smack dead mm -hmm. in their face. face. And they have no other choice but to. Right. So I sit here sometimes and I'm trying to figure out, in your quiet moments, in those dark hours where you're laying by yourself. in bed by yourself, yeah. nothing ever, your subconscious doesn't talk to you to tell you to make things right get things straight or even address some things like i don't understand it and for me when it comes to i call it back um bed size bed side forgiveness and things like that i don't believe in it because i think it's out of pure emotion and what's happening at that time right because if it really meant something to you you would have did it a long time right like, I don't believe like, in it. Like that gospel song said, give me my flowers while I'm living because when I'm dead... It don't matter. It don't matter because I can't smell them then. Mm -mm. And what you're not going to do <clears throat> is drop off your emotional baggage onto me so that you can peacefully leave up out of here and have me sitting here with a bag of uncertainty right. and unresolved and questions. Right. We're not doing that. So basically I said that flower analogy, not, not that you got to be dead, you know, I don't... Yeah. Y'all yeah. get it. Y'all yeah. smart but, over here. But basically, when you are in a good place in your life, that's when you're supposed to make it that's right. That's when you're supposed to. Not, not when, when it turned bad. Yeah, and then all of a sudden you want to make it right. Because people like me will call you out on it. But but thankfully, um, what you call it, accepted the apology. Yeah, she she accepted her dad back, so that's the beginning of rec reconciliation. It really is. Yeah. So let's go over here. Let's get back on the... Oh, going back to Ralph. We're going to go back to Ralph's situation. <laughs> so over there, Sam Landry's, uh, Vi Hollywood just bust through the doors, bust in past his polo administrative assistant, uh -huh. and, and he had his feet up on the desk with his cowboy boots on. And uh, uh, long story to the god darn short. Yeah. Your boy Theo set Ralph Angel's A. Up so god darn pretty yep. that the only thing he was missing was a bow. So what had happened was Theo ended up in Ralph Angel's life with money mm -hmm. that Landry's knew that he needed. The money definitely came from the Landry's. He set him up. Ralph Angel disarmed the cameras. Theo knew that this was going to happen. Yep. So Sam Landry got some backup Cams. cameras yep. so that he could catch him red-handed. So when Theo got locked up, Theo made one telephone call. So this yep. is how we know what had happened. Mm -hmm. He made one telephone call. The telephone call was to the land, to Sam Landry. 
once that telephone call was made, the charges were, were dropped. dropped. Dead giveaway. Dead giveaway. Yep. That whatever had happened, what what they say, whatever they said so he, he did, did, he, he did, did that skit. That, that's least what that's least what Cannon said. That's what Cannon said. <laughs> that what he said. Whatever. My whatever they ghost said, did, he did, did that skit. <laughs> whatever they said, Theo did. He did it. So but, now but, we're sitting over here with Sam. Yeah. With surveillance pictures of Ralph Angel, and he don't got see when you don't punk somebody. My husband said. He laid down that first time. Yeah. But this, this time, time, he said, you're not going to catch me slipping. Yeah. This time, I'm going to have something for your way. So that's when I was like, wait a minute. So what Art Vi got on him? It don't work no it more. It must ain't that strong. Because he said, you all out of options. All man. out of options. And he told Vi, he said, this is what I want. I don't care nothing about no money. First of all, your family can't even handle a long, drawn-out trial of this sort. You just can't. True. <laughs> he said, and then you got your family's legacy. First of all, don't you name my family when we talk about stuff. <laughs> <laughs> he done went all the way down to the kids, blue. Yup. I said, first of all, keep them out. Uh, yup, keep all of them out your mouth. Because this, this is when we get to fight. But he said, I don't, pretty much I don't give a rat say about none of that. I want the land. Mm-hmm. Give me the land. Tell your brother to sign that land. Um, tell your nephew to sign that land over to me. And all and of this goes all away. All this goes away. I yep. said, wait. So Hollywood was like, not that easy, partner. I was like, Hollywood, what you got, bro? What you, what said, you got? What you get ready to do? He said, so would you like to join your sister in jail? He's like, and what you got on me? You ain't got nothing on me. He was like, well, how about um, agri um agricultural terrorism? terrorism? So what you talking about? He said, that we that, know that, that you came out there, phrase. that they use in these days. <laughs> he said, you don't, I, I didn't poison any of the soil or nothing like that. Do you have proof of any of that? So Hollywood called the bluff, Yeah. fell flat. It was like, we have it, but we're not like you that walk around with little little binders and folders with, with no, our stuff in it, just ready to, to reveal it at any moment here. Sam Nanger looked at him like, the bull skit. <laughs> <laughs> if you got the skit, bring it to court. Bring it to court. That's basically what he said. I said, well, it looks I like we about to be in a heat So I'm trouble. like, all this because Ralph's pride. He had the money. He did have the money. His wife got the money. I get it. I get it. I get it. It's as, male as, pride. As, yeah, I male get it. Male pride will it. always keep them in some kind of skit okay. while they're trying to defend the very thing that they're trying to not. Let me speak to it from a man's point. All right, because I can't. Is, it hurts when somebody else has to come in your household and take care of your household when you can't do it. And so your mind be thinking of all kind of stuff that you should be doing to make this. And your mind do go to wrong stuff. Mm-hmm. And you know, for us, you know, usually is you know selling a couple of nickel bags, you know, a little bit more. Not than a that. nickel bag. But I'm just yeah, <laughs> just for illustration purposes, you know, get the quick money. So that's what Ralph knew was quick money, and cost him his dead legacy, man. They much yeah. they've been fighting and scraping and and just lost that over just stealing some goddamn computer parts, man. And for what? And, and for what? Let's let's talk. We're gonna hit Micah real quick. Micah, <laughs> let, we ain't even gonna talk about all of it. We're just gonna hit this one part. Micah and Professor Bay. So Micah had to do something in class where he pretty much had to state a bunch of arguments and things like that. So Professor Bay got a little heated in the pants when he started summarizing his arguments and this, that, and the third, blah, 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 blah. So he was stimulating her mind. <laughs> so after class mm -hmm. she was like Mr. West very very good arguments that you had there you've grown up how about we celebrate tonight hmm. mind you Micah's friend peeping right all of this. I'm like, you see him? I said, you're you, you, you just going to be loose with it. Like, is your peripheral working right here? <laughs> just say, <laughs> say, can I take you to the eye doctor so you can do them little flickers right here? <laughs> Push the button so we'll know that this is working right. over here. Because, yeah. what the hell? 
Michael, Michael curbed the bill. Yeah. I said, Michael said, you know what? I'm good. Because I've grown up. Yep. I said, Professor Bay about so, to go crazy now. Michael said, what you ain't fit to do is pick me up and put me down when you want and pick me back up when the time you feel like it. Yeah. That, that's basically what he said. I actually thought he was going to fall for it, though. I did, too. Yeah. I did, too. But let's go on back over there and deal with Ralph Angel's foolery. Okay, well. <laughs> all right, so now we're at this point where we are all packed with the knowledge and the information that we need to make an informed decision about the future of our land. Yeah. So. Okay, at this point, all of us own it. All the cards are off the table. Like, we have gambled and we have lost miserably. Like, this is... The, the biggest loss. This is the biggest loss right here. <laughs> this is the biggest loss. The <sighs> what? It kind of, it reminded me of when I was in high school, and I ran in the back of another person's car going to school, mm. and I didn't have. And sh enough insurance on my car to cover the damage. I, don't, as a matter of fact, I think I'm, I'm, I'm thinking my insurance lapsed, like a, had lapsed like a week. And the father of the son, because the guy that I hit, me and him was on a basketball team together, and his daddy told me, "I don't care how things go, you gonna pay me that money." I was like, "Like hell, I am." Even though, even though I was the one that that hit his, his son's son. car, uh -huh. but because he wanted to be all nasty about it, pride, I ain't paying you skit. And he was a lawyer. Yeah. So when I got when we went to buy this house right here, guess what came up? The judgment for when I hit his son in high school. I'm grown now. I was school. And it never showed yep. on your credit? Nothing. Never showed on the credit, but the moment we went to get this house, it, it said it popped up. And this reminded me of Sam Landry them. They did not say this, but you could tell that they was like, we're going to get this land no matter what. we just waiting for you to be slipping, just like he was waiting for me to buy a house. Mm -hmm. They was waiting. And in order for you to get what you need, I'm going to get what I want. And they knew Ralph's weakness. He knew Ralph's weakness. So all of the family is sitting around. And they pretty much have come to the decision that we would rather for this land to be signed over to Sam Landry than to have you sitting behind I'm bars. Yep. We rather I lose like, this wow. land than to lose you again. Wow. You've tried, you made a mistake, but this is not how it's gonna go. So Ralph Angel's argument is so y'all gonna let this go that easily like this? They was but, like Hollywood said because you did it. Well yeah. I'm thinking <laughs> you did it. Like we have nothing else to fight against right. when you did it. It's almost like the paternity test results are in. Yep. The kid is yours. yours. And you got to take responsibility. You got to pay now. Yeah, you got to pay the price. You got to pay the piper now. Got to be consequences, man. You got to do the price. And here, Charlie. Well, pay the price. Yeah. And here go Charlie. Still trying to fix skit in a mud puddle. What I'm going to do is get the lawyers to draw up some paperwork. We're going to make sure that Sam Landry signs this when we sign over this land that it was a clerical error. You were moving some things for him. So you were employed by Sam to do what you were doing. It was a big mix up. Your paperwork didn't get filed. It's going to be all good. So in the future, this does not attach itself to your name. You are free and clear from anything from your past going forward. I'm like, so I said, not only are they losing the land, but once again, Charlie losing is going to have to pay that lawyer to make all that stuff happen. So Ralph ain't got the money. No. You know what? Dollar, we need that money from, you, from your uh, college fund to pay for that skit. So. And I'm like, when the hell they going to go? Yeah. Well, Ralph, they going to go stay with her vibe? They're going to stay at Charlie's house. 
They gonna stay at Charlie's? Got to. Got to. So now the question came up, what are we going to do with mama? Mama is out here on this land. So now, see, man, come on, yes. man. It just gets worse. As you go down a rabbit hole, it just gets it just get worse. So Charlotte said, we can have your mother's body removed from the land and placed in a cemetery beside daddy so that they can be together. We we going we gonna to mess with Trudy? Yep. Like, this is a part of the land that at least the Landris can can just be like, this is off limits. But he's so nasty. Oh, yeah, you know, you know, you know, what you used to call him a pissed off Siamese uh, cat, we look like, you know, good and well. So then we Matter of fact, they would dig her up and take and throw her somewhere. Mm. That's what they would do. So then we see Ralph Angel. This, this scene concerned the hell out of me because I was like, what you doing, Ralph? So he goes in the room, he's looking at blue stuff. And he calls Blue um, and left Blue a message. Blue don't have time for none of y'all. No, he shit. has no phone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he had to go-go tonight. So he leaves Blue a voicemail about how proud he is of him and how he's so proud to be his father and how proud he is to have Blue as a son. And I said, hold on, wait, 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 wait. This sounds a little final. Like, are you like, close getting my ready? Chapter. Like, are you trying, you thinking about, su is it suicidal thoughts? Like, it just felt weird to me. But thankfully, I don't think we're there. So then Darla comes in, and she pretty much let him have it. She said, you know what, I've been walking around here holding in my feelings and my frustrations and my anger because I didn't want to hurt you. But I am so pissed off right now. You don't jeopardize us, <clears throat> our future, our safety, all of that Your because family. of what? When I could have helped you. Now, Man. you got a newborn on the way. Yep. And you pretty much are homeless. Yep. And you let this joke So you couldn't even afford to buy the stuff for the baby. <laughs> now you really can't. Charlie going to have to buy that stuff too. <sighs> Lord but I can hear some of y'all in the comments right now. I already know. I already was going to say that y'all would have sent Ralph Tail to jail and kept y'all laying. I would have too. <laughs> I really would have. And not because, because I he, Because he made the mistake. Yeah, and it's not because I give up on people easily, which sometimes I do. Is Sometimes you just got to let people sit and stew in what they created. And this right here was a major hit. Yeah. This is your legacy. But that could have been avoided. That could have been avoided. Could have been avoided. It, it's like, it, I would say if he didn't have all the options that Dollar didn't have no money. Right. He didn't have Charlie there to have <laughs> all the money. You know, family to ask. Or if he asked everybody and everybody turned him down after he mm -hmm. gave the story. Then maybe then, and like, then okay. maybe we can sympathize just a little, little bit. But even then we still would have been hard on you. But we could have understood just a little bit more. But yeah, I hear y'all saying, the hell, I wouldn't have gave up my daddy's land for his dumbness and all this either. stupid skit he keep doing. Nope, nope. See, I was all. getting ready to cuss. His A would have been in jail. Hmm. Eating ramen noodles and hmm. Cheetos. But, a, uh, but <sighs> something you said that was so powerful while we were sitting on the couch watching this, Stella said, here is the thing. When it comes to these issues right here, read between the lines. They know how to use us against each other, mm -hmm. and it never freaking fails. fails. Nope. We will turn on each other so just like, fast. Just like that. Theo and Ralph Angel were good friends in prison. To the point where he trusted you enough to do some dirt with you yeah. and you to keep him protected. Mm -hmm. And because of a little bit of money and some influence from the other side. You flipped on your brother like he was somebody on the street that you ain't yep. even know. He was like, so I was like, we'll do that to each other with a smile on Deep our face thing. and act like it didn't mean nothing. Now, like I said, it probably was a little bit of money. Yeah. Even if it was ten or 20000 Hey, That ain't no money to, be th to rat your brother out when y'all both been doing that together. Real fast. So let's talk about Charlie. Charlie is done. I'm done. But she ended up going over Nova's house because she just, she, I got to go and talk to somebody. But Nova, see, this the thing. 
Nobody knows what Nova yep. has gone through. She was trying to hide it, though. She was trying to keep it to him. <laughs> How she was doing it? <laughs> <laughs> so Charlie was like, I came over here to check on you. So Nova was like, I'm not in a good place right now. She was like, none of us are in a good place right now. No, pretty much cut the skit. Mm -hmm. You ain't in a good place. I'm not I, in a good yeah. place. <laughs> Ralph AJ ain't in a good place. What? So she opens the door. She was like, they they broke yeah. into my house. So <laughs> Charlie was like, like wait oh, a wait. Like, don't. So now she got to pick up the pieces. Not literally, but she really has to pick Nova up yeah, and get her back centered. Be like, no, 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 no. Because Nova was like, they took everything from me. They took my writings, my papers, my thoughts. She was, um, Charlie was like, no, 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 no. They didn't take everything because you are everything. Right. Pick yourself up, dust yourself off because they just made you stronger at yeah. this point. They gave you more power. So, and I really need you right now. Yeah. Because I'm considering running for Congress. Hell. I need to run yeah. on a bigger platform. Yeah. Because right now, the position that I got right here ain't doing skit I ain't got enough power to help the people, people that I love. I, I said, like, here we Charles. go again. Like, do that. Charles. I'm with Charlie with the Congress thing. But sometimes I'm like, buck them people. <laughs> <laughs> they just walk away. <laughs> walk away. Walk out on me. <laughs> Because I'm like, how many more times can you save people? Yeah. And you do, like, her life's work right now is to save people. It's it's a lot. But him and the y'all on here, like, th since we're talking about this, because we, talk we talked about this last week, when you are the fixer, <laughs> and people bring their issues to you, and you're trying to fix your stuff, you're trying to fix their stuff, and... I mean, just just be honest, man. It's like, have that stuff really affected you in a negative way? Whereas you ain't know if you was coming or going, oh, yeah. and some of the stuff ain't even any ain't, ain't even your issue. Most of it's not your right. issue, right? But because you are the professional, well, over the years you became a professional uh -huh. fixer, so it gives everybody the liberty to pick up the phone or text you when there's issues for you to fix. That's it. That's Charlie, man. So I, it is Charlie. And yeah, I, I pray. If you're not a fixer, pray for the fixers. <laughs> and you leave them fixers alone. Yeah. Because you either one or the other. <laughs> <Let me stop. laughs> now, there are some people that just independently take care of themselves and yeah. don't have that. But and, yeah. and the, thing about a, the thing about a fixer, the reason why. Why are you we, pointing at me? Because you are one too. <laughs> is we get joy out of helping people. Right. But we get frustrated when those same people keep making the same mistake over and over and over again. Like, I'm tired of fixing this. Yeah. And how many times we're going to fix this? My frustration with being a fixer is that part too, but you will listen to me as long as I am fixing. Yeah. But the moment that I make you accountable and to teach you how to do things the right way. Right. You disappear. Like uh -huh. you don't have time you don't want to hear from me no to more now. hear anything that I have yep. to say. But as long as you know that at the end of the conversation Lynette's going to fix it, yep. you'll listen. But when the fix is done, then I ha then you have nothing else for me until yeah. it's time for something to be fixed again. Now, I'll cut you off in a heartbeat. Or the other issue is that they only contact you to fix stuff. Number mm -hmm. call and you be like, hey, how you doing? How you doing? You good? Christmas, can, can, can I, I help you? Gifts? No. Can I help you? You don't even buy nah. me a dish towel from the yeah. Dollar Tree for my, for Christmas. Yeah. I don't ask for much. I just ask for consideration. Yep. Back off my soapbox. As James would say, but I'm back. So I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm fine. I love James Caldwell. Um, Unvi goes over there to see Celine. So she found out where Celine was at. So she meets up with her and she was like, I was worried about you. So Celine pretty much admitted to the fact that once I knew I messed up, I was I so scared. A. I ran. Mm -hmm. I ran and I didn't know what to do. <clears throat> Thankfully, she did not run back into the arms of her of her um current husband. Yeah. But she ran. Man. It's probably it looks like maybe like a woman's home or Oh, uh, a really rehabilitation home or something like that. I don't know. But 
she told, um, so our vibe was like, I was good to you. And you are a good person. Like, Very what good. is wrong with you? Like, what happened? And Celine was like, I don't know how it is to be without a man. I've always had my daddy, boyfriends, husbands. So now I don't know who I am. I don't so know, know what to, to think. I don't know man. how to think without a man. And I really messed up. But can you rest assured to know that Hollywood put me in my place right off the bat? Like, yeah, hell, he did. He I'm sure said, did. You ain't got to tell me about my, my man. man. <laughs> I knows my man. I said, come on with it. Yes, you do. She said, I know that man. And I know what he would and wouldn't do. You, you kind of questioned for a split second. Yeah, he did. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, so, but, um, if I went on to tell her, say, you know what? I'm good to you. I'm a good person. You a good person. I really want you to get your stuff together. But throughout all of my relationships and my bad relationships and having men beat me down and telling me I was never going to be anything, once I built myself up, and knew that I could be more than what they said that I could not be, I ended up having to learn how to set boundaries with people. And I said, uh-oh. So this Celine goes into the, oh, I'm so sorry. Forgive me. I'm so sorry. Oh, if I gave her the deuces. Mm -hmm. I got a little bit of change in, the, in this envelope. I, I got a question for you. <laughs> and my family going through some skit too. So you and Gabriel, we ain't going to see y'all. I got no a question for you. Me? But it's to y'all too. Oh. If you had a Celine came into your life mm -hmm. and you was helping her mm -hmm. and then she turned around and hit on me, mm -hmm. would you have closed it out with money? No. <laughs> That's the question for y'all. Would y'all close it out? Would you have closed it out with money or you would just close it out? I'm not that saved at all. Or would you never even try to find Celine just let her go on by her business? Because of the person that I am, and I knew, and I would, if I, if I've been <clears throat> around her long enough to know her character, I know that something is off for her to try to do something like that. I would seek closure, but she ain't getting my coin. She ain't getting your money? Uh-uh. Uh -uh. I had a feeling you could say that. No. So y'all let us, yeah, yeah, y'all let us know what you, Stop. what y'all would have did, ladies. Stop. What y'all would have did about Celine? You better fake a headache and go down to the hospital <laughs> and get you some soup and some apple sauce. Some soup. And, and, and them gingels that's that be. The shasters. The shasters. <laughs> <laughs> and some crushed ice. You better fake a headache <laughs> like the homeless people do down here. Huh. Fake a headache and go to the hospital. Huh. Mm -mm. So, last scene. So, we, we, the rubber is in, is, has met the road. Yeah. So, Ralph Angel meets Sam Landry out on the land. And Sam said, I wanted to just come and meet the man in the eye. I said, first of all, you ain't looking him in his eye. Nah, you looking, you looking all, all over there. Unless you cock eyed. <laughs> so, he talking about some, you know, I just want to make sure that this is solidified before my lawyers and the paperwork and your sister's nosy and messy lawyers get into this. I want to make sure that this is really going to happen. Ralph Angel was like, you can go ahead and get him to drop the paperwork. It's going to happen. So Ralph, so Landry started talk, trying to say something about his, his daddy. daddy. You know, my daddy. He was like, I don't give, give a, a deal about, about your daddy. Your, Just like you, he don't care about my, my daddy. And he said, uh, you know what? You right. You right. 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 You right. right. I said, you will not. Yeah. Shot him. But anyway. So now he told him, say, he either said four to five or 45 days. Either way, that's a short window of time. A short window of time to move all that skit. To take and get off of the premises. So Ralph Angel done walked out there to the land and Thomas, I don't know how this going to end. But this ain't the end of it. What you going to do? What you going to do? What you going to do? You ain't got no money. <laughs> you cute, so you might can sell a few. I don't even know if that'll work in COVID. <laughs> <laughs> you know, because at that point in COVID, nobody wanted to touch nobody. You'd be lucky you getting something from your spouse at that point. True. They'd be like, you got COVID? <laughs> That's how bad it got. I mean, you know, it didn't stop us. But I'm pretty sure it stopped some people being like, wait a minute, you just need? You sound there old as hell. It ain't stop us. <laughs> 
Say, you done sneeze like that? You got COVID? Take you sleeping on the couch for two weeks. You ain't lying. <laughs> I said, put that N95 on, not the regular cloth, the N95. But yeah, once again, Queen Sugar done stressed us out. I hope, I hope the land ain't gone, y'all. I hope. Is this a dream? Like, because did, did I, we dream about I told, about land? I told the Queen the only way I can see this going away, if some kind of way they can prove that the Landris um, contaminated the the, uh, the sugar cane for Ralph. That's the only way they can find proof that I can think of. And that. They, and what, what, what y'all think, y'all? Yeah. I don't know. Straight from the VA. The dirty, dirty south. Two up. Two down. Holla! Voo!